What's going on guys, Tiger here, and I have a quick little video because I wanted to talk to you guys about something that happened a couple, a couple days ago that I'm sure that plenty of you guys have heard about already, but if you haven't heard about it, it's actually about the LSU Tigers in, in specific. It's about Tyron Matthew, cornerback from the LSU Tigers, and some big news that shocked plenty of people. I know it shocked me, it shocked the NCAA world, and it shocked anybody that watches college football basically that Tyron Matthew has been dismissed which means he's been kicked off of the LSU Tigers football team and I was extremely extremely shocked when I heard this because I first thing I thought thought to myself when I heard this was he must have done something really really bad to get kicked off because everybody knows Tyron Matthew and everybody knows how good he is when you think about the LC football team first thing that comes to my mind is Tyron Matthew the honey badger everybody knows him pretty much but yeah guys he got kicked off of the team Les Miles that head coach kicked him off for violating the drug policy for for the third time I believe three times three times are out and he violated it way too much three times and now Les Miles shows that no one's above the rules and even when you're a superstar you will get booted off the team. But some uh, some of his stats from last season. Last season he had 71 tackles, one and a half sacks, five forced fumbles with two of them returned for a touchdown, two interceptions and he was also a special teams ace. He had two punt returns for a touchdown. So he was just basically a ball hawk. He, was all over the field for a bunch of plays and this is a guy that like I said everybody knew and everybody was shocked that he got kicked off the team so now a lot of people are saying this opens up the door for teams like the USC Trojans teams like the Alabama Crimson Tide to have an easier path to the BCS National Championship game because now they don't have to deal with the Honey Badger Tyron Matthew who's pretty much all over the field all the time just making plays after plays after plays but they're saying that now that they don't have the Hammond Badger anymore now this LSU Tigers defense has a major major hole and I don't know a lot about LSU honestly I don't know like how good their their secondary is and I don't know if they have the depth to the depth to um, help out this loss basically so I don't know how how life without the honey badger will treat them, but this just adds to the storyline, I guess. I'm excited to see how the LSU Tigers will be without their superstar, basically, without their team captain. But yeah, remember this is Tyron Matthew that won the um, that won the um, Chuck Bandenark Award last season. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong, but that's given to the NCAA Defensive Player of the Year. He was an All-American last season. He was first team All-SEC all Defensive Player. He was SEC um, Defensive Player of the Year. But he's had problems with um, drug with um, the drug stuff in the past. Last year he did get suspended for violating the LSU um, drug drug policy he did get suspended for one game because of that so like I said he did have problems with this in the past so I guess he just can't stay off the drugs and now he got kicked off the team so yeah like I said were you guys surprised when you heard of this news because did this did this happen a couple of days ago I believe it happened like two or three days ago but what's next for Honey Badger, you might ask. Well, what, what's he going to do? Well, he can't transfer to, uh, to a Division One program because if he does transfer to a Division One program, he would have to sit out for a year. So now he's looking at Division Two teams so he can just play for one year and then go to an NFL draft because his stock must have, um, will take a killing now because I looked at him as like a potential top 10 or top 15 pick, and now he's going to drop in the NFL draft potentially because now he's going to be playing with Division 2 players on a Division 2 team and he's looking at teams like McKenzie State, one of the top Division 2 football teams but he's looking at teams like that to go to he wants to go to one of the top Division 2 teams so he tra he's visiting a bunch of different Division 2 teams right now I'm just trying to see where, where he wants to go I know he said that he wants to leave like where 
Louisiana, Baton Rouge, yeah, he wants to leave Baton Rouge, get away from that area, he wants to just have a clean, fresh, a clean, fresh start, I guess, but yeah, I'll leave, leave this video a comment if you were surprised that the Honey Badger Tyron Matthew did get kicked off of the LC football team, were you surprised, leave this video a like if you enjoyed it, guys, and I'll be keeping you guys up to date with all the latest NCAA and NFL news, so click subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. And I'll catch you guys in the